And now at six, it is time to bring in the pets and cover the plants because that spring like weather we've been enjoying for weeks is finally about to give way to winter. And good evening. I'm Julia Goodrich. And about time. I'm Brian Hackney. It was another beautiful day around the Bay Area. Hope you had a chance to get out and enjoy it because by tomorrow, you'll be trading your t shirts for a thick coat. A live look outside shows we've got clear skies over much of the Bay Area at this hour. The winds are not too bad as we look at Ocean Beach. Live uh, in San Francisco, but things are going to be changing as forecast by the six to ten day outlook, which shows a persistent bubble of cold air spilling into California and staying there for more than a week. As high pressure brings cold air out of the Gulf of Alaska, temperatures in the Bay Area will descend to below freezing by Monday night. There's even a chance that we get a dusting of snow on Bay Area peaks. Uh, Monday night, Santa Rosa will be down to 27 degrees, San Jose 32 degrees, and Walnut Creek just 27. We'll tell you about the snow and about what's going to happen tomorrow. Big changes. We cover the forecast in a few minutes. Well, the city of San Francisco is expanding its homeless shelter capacity as the cold weather moves in. And starting tomorrow, extra space will be available at the Gene Friend Rec Center on 6th Street and the Hummingbird Center on the SF General Campus. The first Unitarian Church on Franklin will also have beds available for men only. The city's homeless outreach team will also be out distributing blankets and also offering transportation to local shelters. The cold weather can also be harsh on pets and plants. KPX 5's Jackie Ward is live at Golden Gate Park with some advice on how to protect them. Jackie. Hi, Juliet. So these obviously are not the trees and plants that we're talking about. We are talking more about the citrus and avocado plants, the ones that are more fragile. We spoke to a woman in Livermore today who was telling people how to get their plants ready before these freezing temps come in. We don't have all the varieties of rosemary here now. Jackie Williams Courtright has been working here since she was seven. Look at the flower um, color, you know, it just is absolutely spot on. Her parents founded Alden Lane Nursery in Livermore back in 1955. So she knows a lot about how to keep your plants protected, even during very dry and warm winters like this one. But these plants are in for a frigid shock with overnight temperatures expected to drop into the 20s and 30s next week in the East Bay. It's really tough. I mean, the timing couldn't be worse. If we get a real hard freeze when those flowers are open, I'm afraid we're going to lose that fruit. It's really sad. How long are we going to have this frost? Jackie spent Saturday afternoon informing people of what's on the way and encouraging them to continue planting new seeds, but only if they're hardy greens or peas and not tomatoes and peppers. Laying some of that frost blanket over the top of the seeds would definitely insulate them. She also had some tips about how to protect existing plants and hopes some people haven't packed up their non-LED Christmas lights yet. And what you can do is you can actually step up one more size to the C7s, a little bit bigger one. They'll radiate a little bit of more warmth. The other thing you can do is put a floodlight at the bottom of the plant. Plant blankets and even various sprays may be able to save your plants as well, especially if they've recently bloomed, Jackie says. And because it's been so dry, she's encouraging people to give plants a really good soaking before it gets cold because dry plants are more susceptible to lower temperatures. So plants aren't the only outdoor things we have to take care of. Various animal organizations are reminding people to bring their pets indoors as well. Make sure your pet has a warm place to sleep and never shave your dog to the skin in the winter. They also recommend maybe getting a coat or sweater for them and never leave a pet alone in a car because it can turn into a refrigerator of sorts, they say. So while this is not the first time we're seeing these below freezing temps this winter, weather experts say for it to happen this late in the game in mid-February, it is pretty unusual. In Golden Gate Park, Jackie Ward, KPIX 5.